in Vietnam. So it's literally like being, I guess, in the middle of nowhere, um, probably about an hour away from the nearest capital city. Um, and I was interested to see that there was actually, they actually had a performance show there where, you know, men dressed up as women, as we refer to drag queens, would actually have shows and people from the country would actually go and see those shows and it would be actually a source of entertainment. See with the um, lady boys. Absolutely, yes. Yes. So, so what, 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 how do people view the lady boys? Um, interestingly enough, it's quite embraced, it's quite accepted, mm. people have no, in, no issue with it um, because it's a form of entertainment, it's interesting, it's different, but um, I guess with the Asian culture and what I've experienced, it's fine if it's not you know, if, it's, if you're looking at a parent's point of view, it's fine if it's someone else's children, but if it's your own child, that's a different story. Mm, you came yeah. out, I gather, when you were 18, is that right? Yes, that's correct. But how have your parents and your wider family, your um, Vietnamese family, responded to your sexuality? How do they feel about it? Um, or is it not discussed? <laughs> no, it is not discussed. Um, I was very fortunate enough, when I came out, I was still living at home. Um, and at that stage, I packed my bag, ready to be given the boot. Um, but, you know, fortunately enough, I still had a, a roof over my shoulders um, and I was still, I guess, given that familiar support um, in that way, which I'm still very grateful for. Um, we don't talk about it. It's not something that comes up in conversation. To be honest with you, even if I was, you know, straight, um, essentially, we probably wouldn't have a lot of those conversations anyway. Mm. Um, it'd be more when you're getting towards, you know, marriage or serious commitment that I'd be talking about, you know, girlfriends, for example. So it's not... And you can't really necessarily comfortable bring someone home, or if you do, I guess you would acknowledge your relationship with them. Yes, that's right. So you describe uh, being Asian and gay as being an outcast within a socially outcast group. What? Yes. What, what are you getting at there? Give us um, some dimensions to this. Sure, sure. So I guess it's a, a bit of a twofold effect. Um, and I guess, you know, being an Asian in a Western world, there's that... I guess that's the first layer, but then you take it into the, the smaller demographic group of the gay world and I guess you've got another demographic within the demographic and, you know, there's, you know, I guess racism unfortunately still exists everywhere. It's not, I guess, as strong or as, I guess, potent, so to speak, than it used to be, um, but it's still very much, you know, it's still prevalent in society today. It's still something that, I guess, people like myself still need to deal with and, and manage as well. So I guess it's, you know, being different within a different environment. So have you personally experienced prejudice um, within the gay community for your Asian heritage? Yeah, absolutely. How? Absolutely. What? Give, so, us some, give us some examples. Um, well, what you might find is, you know, I guess, you know, going back to, I guess, the, looking at the the gay clubbing scene, for example, that's a mm. that's a quite an, a common place for you know other gay people to meet, um, you know each other and and to acquaint with each other. And I guess you you go into those environments and sometimes you know, there might be words said or you might get you know looks that aren't pleasant, um, you know, or just you just mm. won't feel like you belong there. It's just a feeling. Um, but that being said, it it doesn't mean that you know I I completely welcome every time I'm there or anything like that at all. It's, it's more just to sort of illustrate the point that it does happen. Mm. It does happen at times. But I think the, the really important that I'd like to raise 